Hello and welcome to Shane's Main Shop. As you can see, I have a long, rustic, rough cut plank here. I've had this out in the shed as the uh, my storage garage. Oh, I don't know, several years. Always thought it looked neat because the edges are all rough, and thought I'd finally find a use for it someday. And I think I have. I am going to attempt to make a plank chair. So I've never made one before, but I've gone online, looked up some other people's. Um, interpretations of it and I'm going to go ahead and see if we can turn this into a rustic plank chair. Stay tuned. Okay as you could see earlier and also now I got it set up on my um, row of saws here that I use to do a lot of my cutoff stuff depending on what I'm doing depending on what saw I use but they're all all these saws the tables are lined up uh, height wise and the fences are all lined up so I can slide back and forth and use whatever saw I want. Um, this here is an old radio arm saw. It's it's kind of uh, seen better days. So I use this for the rough cutting. Um, and as you can see, I'm lined up here. The end of this board is really uneven. So I'm just going to take one clean cut here and get the end of it straightened out. And then we'll start measuring off uh, the lengths we need to make the chair. Okay, with that squared up a little bit better, we'll start from this end and start um, taking our measurements for the lengths that we need. Um, the one that I looked up online that was simple since I've never made one before has two lengths, uh, 51 inches, uh, 51 and a half uh, actually for the longest board, which is the part you sit on, and then 40 inches for um, the upright uh, board. So we'll start with that and go from there. I'm actually hoping I have a left, enough left over to maybe build a kid's one. There's not enough in this board to build two. Uh, full size, so maybe I can build a little kids one too and have like a little matching set. Okay, I'm gonna slide it down and Let's see, there's my mark right there. It's a little bit interesting cutting this particular board because you can see the rough edges on it and it's wider at this end and as it went down here it narrowed out so I was trying to take some measurements and trying to keep it all uh, square. I was I was uh, cutting it, so measuring, you know, out from the fence in a couple areas to try to keep it square as I can. But part of the charm of it would be the rustic look, anyway. So we got our other line right here. We're gonna cut. This will be the seat area right here with the plank going back. You'll see once it's assembled, hopefully, unless I do something wrong. And this will be the back part that you would actually lean against. Um, and like I said, the board thins out. So what I chose to do was make the back um, out of the thickest area of the wood because I got to cut a notch out of this, a square like a, a mortise out. So we can taper this section down. It will slide in that. Um, so I wanted the widest part, the part that I had to cut a piece out of. But yet, yeah, keep the seat wide too, so the seat will be at the widest end of the other half of the board. So we'll go ahead and make this cut here. Lined up alright. Okay, now we're going to take more to the workbench. We're going to actually do some measuring to cut out the joints that I need uh, so we can slide the two together. So I got them both right here. 
and uh, we'll measure the uh, distance for the seat and the distance up to cut that mortar stout. Now this actually has not much to do with um, building the thing that I thought I'd pointed out. It's never, um, it's never a bad time to be absolutely careful with your power tools. Um, so I just went over to get my pencil and I got pencils everywhere around here because I hate, I hate hunting for them. Um, but I went over to grab the pencil I was using because I was grabbing something else over there. And I went over there and noticed uh, it was apparently under my board that I just cut and I saw the pencil in half. Obviously no harm done, it's just a pencil. Um, but that could have been a nail, uh, a tool or something. So always be careful. Uh, that was a mistake on my part. Fortunately, it was just a pencil. So anyway, so now we're going to um, measure up here. And according to the... The one that I looked up online, the um, measurement for the seat was 15 inches in from the end. So I'll turn this this way so I can see. And we'll just make a couple marks here because like I said, I don't have a square side to put a square up against. Um, but I did square that end off when I started. So I'll just do that. Grab a straight edge here. I know, you know normally you could just put your square up against there, but with this rough, rough wood, you can't do that. And lines don't always show up good. So this section will be the seat, and. What it says is beyond that, you have to take off two inches from either side, rip these off, because that's the part that's going to be small that can slide to the joint that we cut out um, on the, uh, the back piece. So let me just, uh, let's see, I think I can do this. And... I'm going to use, I think that's about two, yeah, it's two inches. And because this tape is down, I'm actually going to be taking off less as I get down to this end. Which I kind of planned it that way. I was hoping that I would take almost none off down here and we could keep some of this rustic look. Um, but it's still too wide, so we're going to end up losing that. I think what I'll do, though, is get a... So I'm just lining up with my line here that where my seat's going to be, and I'm putting this right um, even with my edge. And this is going to be a little tricky here. I'll have to, what I'll do is I'll mark it right here. I'm marking right on the edge. This is kind of a interesting board as I said earlier and then I'm going to mark it on this edge get the measurement in here and make sure this measurement stays the same regardless of what the edge is down here but we want the center measurement to stay the same so that's roughly two inches in there and to put that right about there Yeah, mosquito in here. That's roughly two inches. Double check, like I said, measure twice, cut once, especially with a board like this. I can't, you know, this is, I'm not going to find another one of these anytime soon. Uh, I got this for free. Um, I was cleaning out an old barn for somebody, and a whole bunch of wood, and this was one of the big long boards, and I'm like, I bet I can find use for that someday. Sure enough. Seven years later, here we are, finally using it. So that's seven and a half inches wide. The other thing we want to make sure is the piece that we're going to be cutting out is wide enough to accept the seven and a half inch wide um, 
board going into it and still be strong enough on the edges. And I'll show you that's on the other board, the back. Um, actually, we'll just double check that right now before I do any cutting. So let's move this off the side. So we need about seven and a half inches wide in this board. It's still about a about a foot wide. So if I do seven and a half inches, oh, right there, roughly, and right there. I think what I'm going to do is go seven inches. Okay, so what I did is instead of seven and a half, I'm making it seven. It's a quarter inch I took off each side to give me a little bit more meat on the edge of the um, back backboard to make sure it's good and strong. And I put my square up against my line here. Because remember, I have not, no reference point here. I do know how wide I want it down here, but this here will make sure that I've cut it square going down. So I'll do both sides here, and then I'll use the level to finish the line all the way down to the end. And we'll see where it comes out at the other end, because what you think might be square by eyeballing it is not going to be. See, I'm right off the edge here into this rough stuff, which is fine because all that's going away. All right, we'll put the level. We got enough of a line now; we can follow it the rest of the way. Is that one? Okay, so I'll move this a little closer so maybe you can see what I'm talking about. I don't know if it's coming out good or not, but you can see this here will remain. I won't cut this line. We're going to cut this strip off this side and then the strip off this side, which makes this small, you know, narrower, and it should slide in the opening that we cut on the other. So, there's that. We'll go ahead and get the saw set up so we can cut that off. Okay, so I made my cut on the saw. I didn't show that because um, you can't go against the fence with this side. And you can't really use a, you know, a square to run it through, so you really have to freehand it. And I don't certainly don't recommend it. It's kind of, uh, it's, you know, it's dangerous. But anyways, that's what I had to do. Um, and now um, I gotta go ahead and and finish this cut because you know, I didn't want to go past with the saw, and that'll take out this piece here. So, this might shake the camera a little bit. Maybe I'll move it over to here. You should still be able to see it. Yeah, I'm working right here. Okay. Okay. That's that one. So... That uh, takes one side out of it. We'll do the other side real quick and we'll uh, show you what it looks like. Okay. That's the second side. Take this out. So, this is what we're left with. I'll put it up like this. Hopefully, you can see it all right. Adjust the camera up here a little bit. So, this is what we got. This way we'll be sitting. This is going to slide to a slot that I cut into the other board. Um, probably put it up this way. We'll see. I did actually cut a little bit beyond on this on the table, so I didn't notice it. You can see um, just before I decided I was going to put this side up. So maybe I won't put this side up. But anyway, that's what I was trying to avoid. I wasn't paying attention. My mistake. Um, but let's go ahead and measure up for the slot that we have to cut out on the backboard 
and um, start getting these put together. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I got me a, a force in a bit, and I'm going to, I don't have a mortising tool, something I want to get, uh, even if I did, this won't, I guess it would fit in there, probably halfway to drill these down, but I just go ahead and put it in a handheld drill, it'll be just as easy, and I'm just going to follow along this line, um, and I'll have to go back and, you know, chisel out. Uh, the extra, so I'll go ahead and drill one of these. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go right along the line and do that and um, show you when we're finished, what we have. Okay, drill out of there. All right, that was the last one. Let's go ahead and clean this up a little bit. Didn't get too much tear through on the back side. I just I was trying not to push really hard on the drill uh, when I was getting close to the end. So now I'm just going to go back and square this all up with the chisel and file so it's prepared to receive. Um, this here, so what's going to happen, hopefully you're kind of getting the idea of it now, is once everything's all cleaned up, sorry about the shake, this will eventually go down in here and form the uh, chair. So, with that, we'll uh, keep moving forward on it. Thanks for watching thus far. Okay, so that should just about finish it up. As you can see, whole, I'm not a hand tool person and this requires hand tool stuff. Like I said, it's my first one. I'm just playing around with this old plank that I've had. Um, but I pretty well got it squared up. Uh, a couple tools I use, obviously a chisel, uh, a file, a rough file and a rasp also to, you know, to do some of the rough stuff. Um, but anyway, uh, I've had to you know, test it here a couple times. But it looks like uh, we have it, so let me just show you here really quick, but then I'll change the angle of the camera and we'll get it slid down in, but you probably can see that that goes right down in there. I had to do you know, a few little adjustments here and there, but hang on one second and we will uh, show an angle we can slide this right in. So... Um, Remember the uh, the measurement up to here was like I think 15 and a half um, on this one that I'm doing, and that's the short section obviously. So that goes towards the ground. This will ultimately be the board you lean against, and then of course the part you're going to sit on slides in. Now I got two ways I can do this. I can either have the rough side up, but possibly afraid of splinters. I might even run this through the planer and smooth it up a little bit. But let's just do a little bit. And I'm going to put the, um, the better side up. The only thing I don't like is you'd see my overcut here. But, like I said, first one, just playing around with an old plank. See if we can get that to go in there. First, I actually put it in once. It was really snug, but I didn't do any sanding. So it kind of, we know it's going to wear into it over time. So that's it right there. You can get a different view. So it's kind of locked into each other like that. And, you know, to do a better job, I can go back, um, you know, a more finished job and cut this angle. Because when these are together, there is a slight angle here, so you can cut that. You can also cut the angle to meet the floor on the front and the back leg. So your angles meet in the floor a little bit better. But essentially, that's it. Kind of tight area in here in the wood shop on this side. I can sit down in here and just kind of show you what it looks like. And this, a lot of my saw was made out of 2 by stock, but this one's out of, you know, rough cut, so it's one inch thick. It's a true one inch, but it's very rugged, even one inch. Um, probably for me, 
Legs a little little long. I can't really reach. I can swing my legs, but it's very comfortable. I can also cut off. You can you can mess with the measurement of these if you want. This a little bit short. If you're really short leg up here, you can shorten this up so it's not cutting into you. If you have short legs here, you can shorten that up. Or of course, if you're a tall person, you can lengthen all of this. Um, so it really depends on what you want to do. But there's my rustic plank chair. All right, well, thanks for watching. Check out my other videos on YouTube. Um, and this is another project from Shane's Main Shop. Thank you.